In this video tutorial, I will show you how to crochet a beautiful six petal flower with stamens. The center of the flower can be decorated with a bead. And here how it looks in the red color. Let's begin the work. For work you need a ball of yarn, crochet hook and seed beads. Seed beads are large, transparent and not outright. Before the work we thread seed beads onto the working yarn. Begin the work by making a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And join the chain in the round by working a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The ring is ready. Begin the first round. Make a chain. Draw seed beads. Make half double crochet with seed bead. Yarn over the hook with seed bead. Insert the hook into the into the ring. Make half double crochet. The second half double crochet and three. So continue working in this way till the end of this row. In total it should be 12 of them. I have done 12 half double crochet. To complete the first round, we we'll skip the chain stitch, insert the hook into the half double crochet. Work a slip stitch. Round 1 is ready. Begin round 2. Chain to bring up the yarn. Make single crochet into the same half double crochet. Chain of 3. Chain with seed bead. Make single crochet around the chain one, two, three, four, five, six, Then insert the hook into the next half double crochet by working with single crochet. Then chain of three. Then chain more with bead. And six single crochet around the chain. One. Two, three, four, five, six, make single crochet into the next stitch. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the single crochet by working with a slip stitch. Round is made. Begin round 3. 
for this make a chain then make a chain skip the statement insert the hook into the stitch and work with a single crochet chain skip the statement and single crochet into the stitch of the previous row chain and single crochet between the statements so continue working in this way till the end of this round I chain at the last one insert the hook into the first chain stitch by working a slip stitch let's look at our chain spaces at the back side Let's begin the next round. It is going to be a round of stamens. Chain. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make single crochet. Chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. Draw seed bead. Chain with seed bead. Insert the hook around the chain. Nine single crochet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five six seven eight and nine we have done nine single crochet insert the hook into the same chain space make single crochet Let's make one more statement. One, two, three, four, five. Make a chain with bead. Make nine single crochet around the chain. One, two, three four five six seven eight and nine the second one is done then insert the hook into the next chain space by working with single crochet. Begin the next statement. Chain of five. Then chain with seed bead. Then you should make nine single crochet around the chain. So it should be two stamens into the each chain space. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the single crochet by working a slip stitch. Round is done.
let's begin the next round for this make a chain chain over for the chain space Insert the hook into the single crochet. Insert the hook into the stitch of the previous row by working with single crochet. Let's chain. Insert the hook into the stitch of the previous row. By working with single crochet, chain. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I chained the last one. Insert the hook into the chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round is done. Let's look at our chain spaces. Let's begin round of petals. Make a chain. Make single crochet into the chain space. Chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll skip single crochet chain single crochet chain and single crochet insert the hook into the chain space by working with single crochet turn the work work with the five chain space make single crochet Half double crochet, double crochet, two treble crochet into the same chain space, one, two, double crochet, then half double crochet and single crochet insert the hook into the single crochet by working a slip stitch towards the work begin row 2 of the petal we skip a slip stitch insert the hook into the single crochet by working with single crochet chain of 2 yarn over the hook make double crochet into the next stitch chain make treble crochet into the next stitch chain make double treble crochet stitch into the next stitch chain and make double treble crochet stitch chain then treble crochet into the next stitch chain double crochet then chain of two and single crochet into the stitch of the previous row insert the hook into the top of the single crochet insert the hook into two loops 
make a slip stitch two rounds of work begin rule three work with the next stitch make single crochet two single crochet into the two chain space then half double crochet then two double crochet make treble crochet into the stitch make two treble crochet into the chain space one and two make double treble crochet stitch into the stitch of the previous row make treble crochet into the chain space then chain of three one two three Then I am going to make in backwards direction. Make double treble crochet stitch into the same chain space. Then double treble crochet stitch into the stitch of the previous row. two treble crochet into the chain space and treble crochet into the stitch two double crochet into the chain space make half double crochet two single crochet into the chain space and single crochet to complete this row work a slip stitch into the single crochet of the previous row This is the back side. Two rows of work to the front side. Let's begin the last row of the petal. Draw seed beads. We we'll skip the slip stitch. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make half double crochet with seed bead. Make half double crochet. Then half double crochet into the next stitch.
So make half double crochet till the chain space. Make four half double crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, and four. Then make half double crochet into the each stitch. So continue working in this way till the end of this row. I'm about to complete this row. Insert the hook into the single crochet by working with single crochet. The petal is ready. Let's begin the next one. Insert the hook into the next chain space. Make single crochet. Chain of five. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. We we'll skip. Stitch, chain, stitch, chain, stitch, and chain. Stitch and insert the hook into the chain by working with single crochet. In total it should be six of them. First is made, we need to do five more. Here how they look like. Then I show you how to complete this flower. I'm about to complete the flower. I have done all six petals. Insert the hook into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. I have already cut off the yarn and the flower is made. The beautiful six petal flower is done. The center of the flower is decorated with bead. Here how it looks like in red color. Don't miss our new video tutorials on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.